Hey guys, today I want to talk about the sharp decline in magic and why it is happening from a very economical and business perspective. So I've always wanted to own a business and I currently do. I own 100% of the business. I actually own only 29% and after a long and drawn out and very expensive fight among my investors and partners, I was able to purchase the business outright and be totally debt free as of this moment. Uh, business debt free. I do have some personal debt, mainly the mortgage. So let me tell you why magic is declining. And there's many indications uh, GP, attendance is down. Even if revenue is up, I'm making this before the Monday report. I'm making this on Friday. Stores are not feeling good. Um, distributors are going to have a monopoly now. A lot of people got laid off. The distribution network, no matter how dumb or how inefficient the WPN distribution network was, it did hire many employees. Whenever you lay off employees, although it wasn't stated that way, I mean, you got rid of a whole department, right? I'm sure people who worked at that department have largely lost their jobs. It's not like you can put them in magic online department and they have that particular skill set. Their skill set is very uh, orientated to distribution. So if you don't have a distribution center, you probably are not going to put them in a different place. They're cutting, um, the card quality is still very poor. They're cutting price support again. Pri uh, prices will go up. And the best way I can probably show it you uh, the economics of it is Rudy, who makes a lot of money from Magic, is not feeling very good about it. Rudy is very smart, and he said many times, reserve list, reserve list, and that is what I'm currently doing. I do have two boxes of Masters 25, which will be a contest probably. I decided... Um, I really don't want to go to the post office, so maybe I have a longer contest, but a prize would be instead of one box, two. Because who knows what those boxes will be at the time. So one box to a regular person, um, a regular winner, and then one box to like a pool of 24, so we can do both. I still am thinking over what type of contest we should have. And actually, I just want confirmation that the card has been received the foil lily, and then finally closure in that one before we move forward. So the stores are not feeling very good about themselves. Uh, it is definitely a monopoly type of deal where Channel Fireball has a monopoly on GPs, where distributions now have a monopoly on supply. So why this is so important? Because if you're a brand new store, which you want, or if you're a smaller store, a local, or not a Channel Fireball store, you don't have that much account history with a distribution. And you're going to pay way more money than someone like Channel Fireball Ball or Sports and More. Sports and More clearly gets their boxes for under uh, the what WPN, what store WPN stores get them at. So it's a very, very low price because they're selling under that price. There's no way they're selling and losing money, right? So the WPN was meant to help small and new stores. Now that's gone. The WPN distribution network. Uh, prize support, as MTG headquarters has said, has gone from two packs a person to 1.8. And that's just really petty. Um, forget the $1 million amount. Like, why would you do that? Like, two to 1.8. Like, why would you do that? People are being laid off. The prize support is getting worse. And now they're promoting this magic break magic arena over FNM. The local store I went to, uh, and then my friend works at, and I know the owner, and the other local store, which my best friend owns, they have no interest in carrying magic. They're far more profitable without magic. The margins on magic are very slim. And in fact, you have to eat the cost a lot of times for something like I don't know, Dominaria, where it was really hyped, you bought a bunch of boxes, and now the expected value is nothing, right? It's $66 a box, which is, when you're buying a box at 78 or 80, how are you gonna get rid of it? 
So it will prevent uh, local stores from competing online totally. Um, they will no longer be able to compete. They, they have had problems in the past, but it is possible for a local game store to sell a booster box or a few online. But now that's just out, not possible. Um, the main indicator that this game is not doing well is due to the expected value. Uh, you can fudge a lot of numbers, but you cannot fudge the expected value of a core set, of a Dominaria. If the expected value is very low, that means there's no demand. Uh, no demand means people are not playing the game. I'll get to Magic Arena a little later. I whale a lot on mobile games, and I just cannot see any of any whale wanting to play this game on Magic Arena, mainly because of policies. If you spend money on this digital merchandise and you sign a term TOS, a terms of service, and anytime they can take away your account for liking a meme, uh, some of the things that people have been banned for, Travis Wu especially, uh, is just really not acceptable for a mobile game to do. Um, you have, so if you ask, why have we gone down this route? I can probably point to one reason. Uh, one reason is that the game has become very political. Instead of just like Wedge saying, playing the game, we have our the biggest YouTubers, the biggest e-celebrities promoting uh, different uh, views, political views. And they do this all the time on Twitter. Wedge, Tolarian a bunch of them right like you don't need me to tell you repeat that to you so what happened is the game got a lot more political and wizard co supported this uh, left-leaning political group what they didn't realize and this is true for any mobile game you never upset the whales let me ask you how much money do you think rudy represents to wizards of the coast in terms of value how much did MTG headquarters represent? He spent it. He spent over ten thousand dollars on Magic Online. He spends. He used to spend money on products all the time, and especially new products. And I used to buy cases of this stuff, and I have not bought a case since RTR. Um, and I buy tons of Pokemon now. All the money that I used to give to Wizard of Coast goes to Fate Grand Order, which I'm trying to quit. Uh, Pokemon, either Pokemon Go or Pokemon Card Game. You see more Pokemon Card Games than this because I love it and I open so much of it. My birthday, uh, just to give you an example of my birthday, I typically open a thousand or two thousand dollars of product, and I have not opened a single Magic thing. Um, now I do have product for you guys because I know you love Magic, and I'm in a position where I can give, not take, give. And that is that. Um, I'm going to make another video about shipping and standing in line. I think I have a vlog up by now. I don't know. My videos are really disordered. It's just like uh, this video, right? But they're real. They're non-scripted. They're not me scripting something to beg you for a dollar. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to do that. And I have pride. You know, I, I think Wedge's most famous quote is something like, I don't have pride or I don't have any pride. Who needs pride? Or something something ridiculous like that and just like oh wow okay self-esteem much right um so you have you have favoritism to people who don't spend money on this game and then all the big whales rudy mtg headquarters me and many others uh, my friend kobe used to spend uh, we i used to split a case with him he doesn't buy any magic anymore they don't spend any money on new products so that's why Wizard of the Coast is going to be in trouble uh, either now or later because a Rudy represents maybe 10,000, not even the mana source I would say is a negative because he doesn't buy product. If you look at his videos, it's clear that he doesn't own the card. It's clear that he's just pulling the information online. And let's take his recent GP Vegas trip. He, it was paid for. His hotel was paid for. He's eating at fancy restaurants. He's getting married. Like, he doesn't have a job. So that's that money is coming from somewhere, right? So it's coming from donations. Instead of people spending $80,000 on Magic cards, they're going to donate it to Wedge, who's going to use it not on Magic cards. 
So at the end of the day, they made a big mistake. Uh, the big mistake was they got political and they isolated the quote whales. And people was like, oh, you're a hierarchy. I, I've said this a lot of times. When I was in law school, I supported my local game store. And I was the only one to buy boxes and things. And I'm okay with that. Somebody needs to buy the box. Someone needs to buy the old box so the store can buy new boxes. Somebody needs to supply the store of cash flow. I still like my local game store. That's why I buy Pokemon from them now. Because I know they need the money. If you're a little kid and you have allowance money, you don't, you're not a net positive to the game store at that age. But because people helped me and people supported these stores I went to as a little kid, when I didn't have money and I was just hanging out, I'm going to do the same. If you look at a store operating expense, the little kids, the new players, they don't, they're not positives yet, right? But they can only become a positive a few years later once they get a job, they graduate college, they maybe go to uh, engineering. Like Once they get money, they will put money back into the store, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just not doing it with magic cards anymore, uh, and I'm okay with that. I mean, I've even uh, started this Weiss game. <laughs> uh, okay, don't tell anyone I play it. It's, it's not a good game. It's a really bad game. But you, there's no give back. There's, no, um, there's a lot of this stuff that happens in our community, and it's just people taking, and Wizard of Coast sided with the takers. That is a horrible, horrible decision, and they're going to be punished for it. Now, I guarantee you in 2000 and I guarantee you the whole 2018, once they average it out, it will be a very bad year. I guarantee you 2019 will be an even worse year. Uh, 2020 will be a very bad year. And eventually the game either goes digital or it dies. Uh, the, car, the physical card game will exist in terms of old school and uh, older cards because people will still play cards with their friends, um, the friends that they made at local game stores. But, you know, a lot of uh, what is currently happening is no longer going to happen. The money will dry up. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it's simple math. If you have two types of customers, one type of customer, even if you hate MTG headquarters, you cannot say he doesn't buy product. Even if you love Wedge, you cannot tell me Wedge buys any product. Therefore, if you support Wedge and all you have are a bunch of Wedges asking for $80,000 of donation that could have been used to buy Magic products from that fan base, and you ban MTG Headquarters, MTG Headquarters is going to do what he does. He's going to buy other games. I'm going to do what I do, buy other games. Rudy is going to do what he does. That image, if you play Pokemon, you know what that image is. It's all Pokemon cards. Rudy's not an idiot. He is putting himself out there with a bunch of Pokemon cards. He is well stocked. The thing I love about Rudy, there's no BS. He'll show you. He's not telling you, oh, I'm going to stop magic and play Pokemon and I sell more Pokemon. No, he's just showing you the tons of Pokemon stock he has. And that that's way better than him telling you, hey, I'm supporting Pokemon now. Anyway, bye guys.